Hello and welcome to Science with Mr. Weber. In today's lesson we'll be looking at nuclear reactions. Nuclear reactions are reactions involving the atomic nuclei of atoms. Types of nuclear reactions. So there are many types of nuclear reactions and some common examples you may have heard of are fission, fusion and decay. Today we'll be focusing on types of radioactive decay. Isotopes. Isotopes are different forms of the same element. Now the way that they differ is in the number of neutrons that they have. So that means that they have different atomic masses. Okay, remembering that atomic masses are made up of the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. In this example here we can see three different forms of hydrogen. We have protium, which is one you're most familiar with. Then we have deuterium and tritium. The only difference is the number of neutrons that they have. Radioisotopes are radioactive isotopes of an element. So a substance is radioactive if it spontaneously releases radiation. And it spontaneously releases radiation because the nucleus is unstable. Nuclear decay. Nuclear decay occurs when an atom with an unstable nucleus spontaneously emits radiation. So three common forms of nuclear decay include alpha, beta, and gamma. Alpha decay occurs when an alpha particle is emitted from the nucleus. Uh, alpha particle is actually a helium nucleus, so that means it has two protons and two neutrons. Beta decay. Beta decay occurs when a beta particle is emitted from the nucleus. So a beta particle is an electron. Uh, now this isn't an electron from the outer shell, this is an electron that's emitted from the nucleus. The process is somewhat complicated, it involves a neutron turning into a proton and at the same time releasing an electron which leaves the nucleus. Gamma decay occurs when a gamma ray is spontaneously emitted from a nucleus. Gamma rays are high energy rays. Okay, they're an example of electromagnetic radiation like visible light, radio waves, and microwaves. In terms of radiation penetration, alpha particles will only make it as far as a piece of paper. So they can travel through the air, but they will be stopped by something as thin as a piece of paper. Uh, beta particles, or those electrons, uh, those can be stopped by a piece of aluminium, uh, whereas gamma is actually very very highly penetrating and it's able to penetrate through several centimeters of lead. Half-life. So half-life, so that's just a description of the amount of time it takes for half of the atoms in a sample of radioactive material to decay into a stable isotope. So going from radioactive to non-radioactive. In the example here we have uranium-235 that's its uh, mass number. And when it decays, it forms lead 207. And if you have a look at this graph here, so the half life of uranium is 704 million years. So that means if you have a sample of uranium, it will take you 704 million years for half of that sample to turn into lead. That's it for today's lesson on nuclear reactions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.